Hey guys, this is AJ Helson here at uh, Powerhouse Gym downtown Tampa. So what you just saw me do was just a standard push-up, um, just practicing on technique and uh, basically get the reps. So what I'm going to teach you today, or just at least explain, is different variations of push-ups that you can do. Um, there's so many. There's uh, knuckle push-ups, there's fingertip push-ups, there's diamond push-ups, there's just a regular push-ups, there's open wide grip push-ups. So I'm going to kind of basically talk you through each set and variation of push-ups. So for our first push-up we're going to do, um, I'm going to start for the, the beginners who haven't really been able to do push-ups or kind of in the basics form of doing a push-up. Um, I'm going to go on my knees for um, to start off and just kind of show you a good technique. You want to make sure that your arms are locked and kind of shoulder width apart from your body and you're going to push down, up, just kind of get the kind of get the rhythm because your body ultimately is going to be diagonal so it's going to come at an angle and you want to make sure that your back is straight and flat and your arms are locked out. Make sure that your tries are locked out as well. And make sure that your chest is tight too. You want to make sure that your chest and you're tightening your core as you lock to go up in a position. So that's kind of for a starter for uh, basically someone who hasn't been able to do push-ups or is interested in doing push-ups and have never done one. Um, you know, always start from, so some start from scratch, start with technique. The next step I'm going to do is show you how to do a standard push-up, which is about uh, arm shoulder width apart and we're gonna kinda show you the technique make sure that your body is locked like I said with your back posture make sure that your back and your core are tight um, and at an angle make sure your butt is you know flat too you don't want to stick your butt up like this when you're going up you want to make sure that it's kinda at a flat angle everything is tight glutes are tight core is tight so down up notice how my arms lock up when I go up upward down up make sure you tighten your chest as well when you come up down, up, glutes are tight, down, up. So that's kind of a variation of, um, well not variation, but technique form, make sure your posture's right um, when doing a standard push-up. There's all sorts of push-ups you can do. Um, I'll show you from a range of basic push-ups all the way to the most advanced or more extreme kind of push-up techniques you can do. First I'm going to show you how to do a diamond press push-up. It's more associated with a military style. Um, basically you're going to lock your chest and your arms out, keep your fingertips at a diamond position, and you're basically going to come like this and push out. So notice how my chest is locked and tight and push out. So let me show you real quick. Make sure that your uh, glutes are tight, core is straight, back posture is nice and at an angle. Come down. Notice how my chest is tight. Come up. Make sure your arms are tight with your chest as well. Make sure you don't want your arms to be loose and outward. Up. Notice how my arms are uh, centered to my chest as well. You don't want to go farther past. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. So basically that was um, kind of a tutorial on how to do the diamond press push-up. Next I'm going to do is fingertip push-ups. Now this, I caution you, make sure that you know, you're very comfortable with your body and you can, you know, uh, you, you, you can feel yourself doing it because with fingertips you want to put all the pressure and stress into your fingers. Um, but also too with your core. I know it sounds kind of a little funny, but when you do it, or if you attempt to try it, you'll notice that when you, your fingertips go down, you'll feel your whole body weight trying to push down as well because of gravity pulls you down. So try to center the mass in your core and, your and tighten your core up to alleviate some of that pressure off your body and make sure your fingertips are completely straight and tight. And I caution you with some practice, you know, of course. Um, e easily, the e best way to practice this is for beginners, for fingertips, kind of come down like so. Practice like a push up. Come up, down, up, down. So that, that way you can kind of get comfortable and know your limitations on, on what you can do. And when you're really comfortable, you can do like so. So, like I said, limitations. I know my limitations with uh, fingertip push-ups. So it's about roughly five or four pu um, really strict um, uh, rep push-ups. Next, we're going to do the crucifix push-up. Then, basically, you're going to keep your arms like so, like a crucifix. Um, arms spread uh, spread apart, and you're going to come outward. Make sure your arms are as wide as they can get, and your body, your your posture is straight. Come down and 
up, down, up, down, and up. And you'll notice that your, your triceps are the ones using the most energy out of the reps. And you'll notice a burn as well. You know, kind of make sure as wide as possible. Tighten your glutes so you can feel a lot of pressure in your glutes as well. Your core. So the wider the technique is, you want, the more you'll feel the pressure on your core, the more you'll feel like you're using your core, which is good. I mean, that's essentially what you want to be using. So guys, for the final um, variation of push-ups, we're going to do is a Lelane push-up. And this is by far probably one of the most hardest push-ups you can do. Um, basically, what you're going to have your body is laid out flat like such. And you're going to raise your body using your fingertips and your core muscles. So, let's see if we can get this. Like I said, one of the hardest you can do. So basically, when you're doing the lane push-up, notice how I had my legs kind of together a little bit, but as I progress slowly in doing uh, each rep, my legs spread apart. The closer your legs are, the more pressure you're in, more, and tighter your core, and the more you use your core. So that's kind of why I had to space my legs out a little bit, just because to take the pressure off of it. Um, like I said, one of the hardest you can possibly do. So to finish this off, we're going to do um, some knuckle push-ups and uh, a mix of knuckle and explosion as well, just to kind of, you know, kind of see what, what you can kind of combine together. So let's see. Same thing like every push-up. You want to make sure that your posture is nice and straight. Knuckle straight to the ground. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. So next we're going to do is explosion. I'm going to start from a you know, basic form of explosion. So you kind of want to get comfortable if you've never done any kind of explosion off the ground before. So make sure you go up. So you get in a regular push up position. I'm going to go down. Come up. Go down. Come up. Down. Up. 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 So notice how I kind of had a little explosion on it. I went down. I kind of pushed. As I went down, I used that momentum to push myself up. So that's just kind of how you start off when doing explosion push-ups. Now, you can get more complicated when you go down. Try to fo focus and use that momentum as you go down, push up harder, so, to get a higher range. So notice how as I went down, I used more of my momentum to push myself up, coming from coming down and going up. So now, when you feel more comfortable with that, you can do stuff like this, where you go down. So notice how I used that momentum to push myself up and doing a clap, behind the back clap as well. So this is kind of just a little, a little bit tricky, a little takes prime, takes practice, like anything else. Hey guys, so if you enjoy watching these videos, I have a free gift for you, the 10 best bodybuilding exercises of all time. If you click the box right here and enter your email, we'll be sure to send you the report right to you. If you're on a mobile device and can't click the top box, look to our description below and the top link, www.criticalbench.com slash bodyweight. So click that link and enter your email and we'll be sure to send you a report right away. Be sure to like our videos, comment in the section below, and to subscribe to our channel for more videos featuring these.